Hey guys and welcome back. So I recently saw a question from Razor about uh, how they put their, how do people put their shoulder rest on their violin and I thought that a visual demonstration would be a little bit easier than just trying to use lots of words that were awkward. Now uh, the first thing is that I don't always use a shoulder rest. While on my uh, electric I do have a shoulder rest because I find it extremely uncomfortable without one. On my acoustic I actually go with no shoulder rest at all. So let me pull this guy out real quick. As you can see, no shoulder rest at all, um, and the, uh, of course, the practice mute because I always have a kid sleeping when I'm playing, but I just put the violin right up there on the shoulder, no rest, and off I go to playing. With the electric, I use a uh, Bon Musica style shoulder rest. This is actually a cheapo knockoff I got on Amazon for like 15 bucks. Um, the knockoff is not available anymore, and frankly, it's such an exact copy of the Bon Musica, I have little doubt that they got sued out of existence. But um, it works really well. Um, the nice thing about the Bonds is that they come up over the shoulder, so you can see it actually hooks the shoulder a little bit, and it's also really, it's a kind of a soft steel, so you can bend it and mold it a little bit to your body, which I found extremely helpful, um, especially if you're a woman and you have more up front you can actually bend this out of the way a little bit more so it's not digging into you. So one thing I found uh, going between no rest and a shoulder rest was that the angle of the violin was different and this became a problem when I was trying to do vibrato because at first um, my violin was actually angled much more forward. It's hard to see from, you know, see if I can get straight down the, the fretboard. So initially my violin was angled almost like that, like it was straight down the front of my body. And that created an awkward angle. I was having to pull my elbow back to get to the lower strings, and I just couldn't vibrato at all. So I actually adjusted the shoulder rest quite a bit, brought the bottom up, and now I actually have a good angle on it. Um, but yeah, so in terms of installation, I literally just put it straight uh, across the back of the violin. No funny angles or anything like that. Um, and it's one of those things you're just going to have to do it until it feels comfortable. There's no like exact science on how one should attach a shoulder rest to a violin that I'm aware of. Um, you know, I try to keep mine from getting too high. I want the violin lower down close to my shoulder. Um, it actually, I find it more comfortable that way versus how, you know, some rest will actually raise the violin quite a bit. And it's something you should consider, um, because it can actually change how your hand fits to the violin. So, um, Hope that answers your question, um, and yeah, have a great one.